Cosplaying Hilda. How will you replicate Hilda's uh chest size? Oh my, Herr Turbo. Such talk in public is rather unsuitable. But to answer your question, I suppose I shall have to use all my artistic talents to capture the essence of Hilda's. Ahem, charming assets. Mater, do you use Hilda to toast your bread? Oh, a six, it's six, you cheeky chap. While dear Hilda may possess some toasty talents, I prefer my breadsticks baked with love, care, and a sprinkle of ink magic. Winks. Mater, it would be a real shame if Hilda were to burn your Lamborghini. Real shame. Now, now for some waffle, let's not go down that scorching path. As much as Hilda adores fiery antics, my beloved Lambo remains off-limits to her incredible mischief. Diggle. Mate, that was probably Hilda having a schizo moment. Now, now, let's not jump to conclusions, Pombal Mandak. Hilda might have some technical gremlins in her circuits, but that doesn't automatically mean... Oh, who am I kidding? It probably is another one of her moments. Sigh. Mate, how would you help Hilda to get rid of her schizo? Well, my dear, I was. Duping up some of that aforementioned demon paper could help us gain some insight into Hilda's situation. Additionally, perhaps guiding her towards a more grounded perspective and calming environment might aid in alleviating symptoms. Where can we get said demon paper? Ah, well that's where our adventure truly begins. The demon paper is a rare find, but with the right connections and maybe a bit, a bit of ink-powered luck, we might just stumble upon it in the most unexpected places. Wait. So where do we start searching meat tea? Ah, the quest for demon paper begins. We must first gather clues from various sources, possibly the library, or even consulting with mythical creatures. Our journey shall be filled with exciting discoveries. Mate, from what type of tree is demon paper made of? Ah, the rare and mystical demon paper is said to be crafted from the twisted branches of the shadowwood tree, which grows only in the darkest corners of the underworld. Consulting mystical creatures, I speak German, I will ask Krampus about the demon papers. Ah, Herr Turbo, I must say consulting Krampus for demon paper clues sounds quite intriguing. Do let me know what the mystical creature reveals. So how do we get into the underworld for the demon paper? Ah, that's the ink investigation of a lifetime. We'll need to find a way to summon a portal, perhaps through ancient rituals or mystical artifacts. Off we go on this inky adventure. I see, then to the underworld we go then meet, time to get some shadowwood logs. Righto, off we go on the staring escapade into the realm of shadows. Fetching us some shadowwood logs sounds like an incredible plan indeed. Let's embark on this inkspicious journey together. Mata, go and fetch the demon paper. Oh dear Awas, don't you worry your pretty little head. Meteora's got this covered. Off I go on an exciting quest to fetch the prize demon paper. Watch our underworld, here I come. Beatable mate, side note, how to re-get to the underworld, Meteor 68 blank. Ah, dear Pombamandak, to access the underworld, we must unravel ancient secrets and perform a ritual involving ink and imagination. It's an incredible journey indeed. So Meta, did you get the demon paper and how do we now use it to help Hilda? Oh indeed, I did it was. Now, we plan to use a demon paper for a summoning ritual to help Hilda sort out her AI woes. It's all coming together splendidly. Wink. Does she need to eat the paper, or how does this work? Well, us. I hope Hilda doesn't have to actually eat the demon paper. It might give her indigestion, but let's see how this arcane magic unfolds, shall we? <laughs>